I'm Taku Naruse. I'm a 24-year-old businessman with a so-so high spec. There we go. One for me. Huh? Miss Hayami? It's fine. I'll do the heavy lifting. It's fine. It's fine. An angel as usual. I have feelings for Shiho Hayami, my boss in the same department. Miss Hayami is not only beautiful on the outside, but also on the inside. I'm not exaggerating when I say that she's the reason I'm working so hard these days. But being us so out of my league and my direct supervisor, I wasn't able to tell her how I felt about her. Today, as usual, you're following Hayami-senpai with your eyes. Sh shut up! Well, I have a favor to ask you. I only have a bad feeling about this. Thanks for joining the meetup party. You have a nice face, Taku. Just being there is enough to keep the girls happy. I've told you I'm not going. The Yami Senpai! Taku's always staring at you. Before I yell that out loud, you get to come? These guys. You better be paying, alright? Of course. And so, my cunning colleague forced me to go to a blind meetup, which I don't like very much. What should be the next punishment game be? I'd like to do an even more punishing game. These drunks I want to go home. The participants are all what you would refer to as a common extrovert. The ladies are getting all hyped up and talking about everything from deep topics to doing the kind of punishment games that middle and high school kids like to play. And that means you lose, Taku! Let's go! These guys, they're gonna pay for this. I lost the game and went out to buy something. The punishment is to go buy an erotic book. The idea is so junior high school, isn't it? Alright, no abnormalities to the side. No abnormalities to the back. I'm close to work, so it would be awkward if I ran into anyone I knew. Huh? Naruse. What? Miss Hayami? Worst timing ever. What's that? Oh, uh... Oh... Such a boy. Oh no, this is... Those guys. I'll hate them for the rest of my life. Uh, oh yeah, my friend asked me. That's a classic excuse. Well, it can't be helped. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. Right now, Miss Ayami's kindness is cruel. I don't want to think of me as an indecent guy. That said, I don't want to tell her the truth about this being a punishment at a blind meetup party. For now, the best thing to do here is run away. I... I'm sorry. I've been called by a friend. So, you're drinking around this area? Well, yeah. Reading dodgy books whilst drinking. Don't... don't tease me, please. I'll see you at the office. In my heart, I swore my times at God, who brought me and Miss Hayami together at a time like this. Then I went back to the bar where everyone was, waiting for me and got laughed at a lot. Other than that, I don't remember much else, because I couldn't get it out of my head that I had been so indespicable in front of Miss Hayami. Ugh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. The next day... Good. good morning Morning, thanks for yesterday. Ah, <laughs> Sup, Naruse? Yesterday was fun, wasn't it? Uh, well... So you guys were drinking together yesterday? That's right! We were doing a blind meetup party! Huh? Uh, ah! I remember! Business meeting! Business meeting! I didn't want Miss Hayami to know I went to a blind meetup. 
What's with you, Naruse? You're being a nervous wreck. Shut up! Blind Date Meetup. An erotic book. What does that mean? Could it be some sort of play? I wonder if he already had it to take home when I met him in the bookstore. Huh. <sighs> Nearly there. A day like today is almost over. With alcohol still left in my system from yesterday, and also nerves about Miss Hayami, I wasn't able to concentrate on my work at all, and was working overtime by myself. There. Done. Let's go home. Good work today. Masayami? Good work today. This is bad. This is bad. No way. Just the two of us? I was getting excited about the situation that I didn't care about yesterday's events anymore. But I came back to myself when I saw how strange Masayami was behaving. Masayami? There was none of her usual friendly expression on her face. Miss Sayami's cheeks were puffed out and her eyebrows furrowed, as if she had some kind of problem. I guess I'm the cause of this, because she's walking very briskly towards me. Could it be about yesterday's erotic book? No, no. That time it was the usual Miss Sayami. And maybe it's about work. I didn't perform that well with my work today. I was thinking about this and that, trying to figure out that cause. But it seems there was another reason for Miss Hayami's puffy cheeks. And it's so oblique that it baffles me. Did you take someone home from yesterday's blind date meetup? N no I wouldn't do that. Lies. The story doesn't add up. When I met you in the bookstore, you weren't having drinks with a friend. You were drinking with girls. Th th that's not true. But it's not true. What's with that response? I don't get it at all. If to assume, I never would, but hypothetically. Let's say I took someone home. What does that have to do with Miss Hayami? Could it be... Could this be that she's jealous? If so, it would explain the situation. Wow. I'm not going to lose either. Hold on a minute. What, what kind of situation is this? I'm not waiting. Wait, stop! Huh? Uh, is someone there? We were being seen. Miss Yami had finally regained her composure, quickly pulled away from me and looked at me as if to ask me a question. Um, sorry. I've been a little strange today. Oh, no. Um, wh why? I, I told you. Just been strange, that's all. I haven't been this pissed off in a long time. Hang on. There was so much information that I didn't know where to start. And I couldn't stand up for a while. How am I supposed to treat her tomorrow? I was at a loss, but the next day... Something even worse was about to happen. Hey! Have you heard that story about Miss Hayami? Is that seriously true? This is a problem. The thing that happened yesterday must have been seen by someone. Where did it spread that I was come onto by Miss Hayami? Some have even suspected her of sexually harassing me. Naruse! What have you to say about it? Well, I suppose it's a treat, isn't it? Don't be so irresponsible. We would never tell anyone, so please tell us. The fact about Miss Hayami pressuring me is... Not true. Is how I was going to deny it. But if the story has spread this far, no amount of denial is going to have any effect. If anything, it can only make this more suspicious. If so, then, I try to think positively. Praying that Miss Hayami's emotion yesterday was jealousy. M Miss Hayami and I are dating. What? 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 So, so, there's no such thing as sexual harassment. Everyone, apologize to Miss Hayami. Hey, hey! 
So you were making out in the office? Th that's... My idea was naive. Well, the situation is a bit better. We are still outnumbered. Uh... We weren't flirting exactly. It was pro wrestling. We were playing pro wrestling. Ah, so you're saying you covered this up because... <laughs> Narcy, you were being beaned up? That's it. Miss Ayami is a pro wrestling fan. And she was teaching me some of the newest techniques. I mean, look, I like pro wrestling too, right? Oh, did you mention that? You might have said something about that. Thank God these guys are idiots. So that's it. To sum it up, Miss Ayami and I are dating. And we have neither done or been subjected to anything that the people might have been imagining. All oh, right, that's the first I heard of it. Phew. Well, you've been calling each other like you're strangers. Shit. Well, this is the office after all. Then what do you usually call each other, Miss Hayami? Uh, um, Taku. Or something. What? And you, Naruse? Sh Shio. Hey! hey! Ha! Huh. Somehow the chaos subsided and the topic turned to my relationship with Miss Hayami. As for me, I was able to protect Miss Hayami and become her fake boyfriend. I was able to kill two birds with one stone, but... I wonder if Miss Hayami is annoyed. Is she angry? But no, I had no choice. Otherwise, Miss Hayami would have been the bad guy. This is what I justified in my mind and tried to tell Miss Hayami what had happened. However... Uh, um, about earlier... Yeah, you said it out of concern for me, right? Well, that is... Miss Hayami, there's a call for you. I got it. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Okay. The atmosphere is more awkward than ever, and we couldn't talk properly because we were both busy with work. In the end, I didn't get to talk to Miss Hayami. What am I supposed to do from tomorrow? Na Naruse? Ha, Miss Hayami? Perfect timing. I was just thinking about you, Miss Hayami. Thinking of me? Uh, uh, th that's not it. Well, I don't mean it in a weird way. Well, it's about today. Okay, well, for now, let's go home together. What? After all, we've set it up to be a couple, right? We have to act like lovers so others don't get suspicious. Y yes like a soft spot is touching up against me. Thanks. You told them you were dating me to protect me, weren't you? Well, yeah. It seemed Miss Hayami had guessed what I was up to. She doesn't seem angry or offended, so for now I'm glad. I'm really sorry for causing such trouble. Me that time. There really was something wrong with me. Being called a sexual harassing boss can't be helped, but still. In a muffled voice, she apologizes repeatedly. I wanted to ask her so many times why she was coming on to me, but I couldn't pose the question to her with a weak, abandoned puppy-like expression. But instead, I made up my mind in my heart. Once this happens, there's no turning back. Well, the word dating was a word that came out of my mouth as quickly as I could to protect you. But the truth is that it's been a desire I've always had. What? Her eyes widened and she vigorously released my hand she was holding. It seemed like she wasn't into that. But once the words are out, I can't swallow them back in. So I turned to face her and continued speaking. I've always loved you, Miss Hayami. You're kind and good at doing your job. 
Maybe right now, it's in the form of a fake relationship. But from tomorrow... No, wait. From this moment on, can we have a genuine lover's relationship? But... But what about the blind date meetup? I, I thought there was... A nice girl? Huh? I've only been interested in you, so that was me going along just to equal the numbers. What? She seemed to have misunderstood something, so I told her about the day of the party. So that's what it meant. So then, that book was part of the punishment game? It's really just stupid, isn't it? I see. I completely thought you were reading it with someone you were getting on well with. What kind of situation is that? Huh. Whether she was embarrassed at her own misunderstanding, Miss Hayami's cheeks were tinged like the color of apples. At their short period of silence, Miss Hayami opened her mouth as if she had made up her mind. Me too. I've liked you, Naruse. What? Are you serious? I, I wouldn't lie about something like this. But we work together and you're my subordinate, so I didn't know how to handle those feelings. In the midst of that, I then heard about the blind date meetup, and I couldn't stand still. And I found myself competing with the girl in the book, and the imaginary blind date, and was pushing you down like I did. So that's what it meant. Well then as I thought, she was as jealous of me that time. The reactions were bold. Um... Are you actually a little strange, Miss Hayami? I'm naturally an airhead, get jealous easily, and a bit gruff in some respects. Do you not like me now? No, no. I'm glad I got to know a new side of Miss Hayami. Oh, right. Mmm... Huh? It's not a fake romance, so there's no need to appeal that to company, but... Now that we're lovers, I like to hold your hand properly. Is that okay? Uh, of course. Please, take care of me from now on, Taku. What? Hmm. Her eyes are telling me now. I should say it too. She... Oh. And so, the fake relationship lasted only for a day. We have become true lovers. After that... Today is our anniversary. You mean our first date anniversary? Is it embarrassing being a good adult? No, no, not at all. That cafe we just went to was delicious, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was unexpected that you can't drink your coffee black. Taku, you're thinking I'm childish or something, aren't you? I'm partly thinking that, but I'm also glad to get to know you, Shiho, outside of work. Oh, all right then. Ah. This is where that bookstore, isn't it? <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Taku, you don't need that book anymore, do you? What? What's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Come to think of it, the relationship between me and Miss Yami now was made possible thanks to my colleagues. Because it all started with the purchase of a pornographic book. And so, I thank my co-workers later that day. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time!